We're gonna build apps with Google Opal and really see how it performs because I gotta tell you, so far, Opal looks ugly. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First step, log into Google Opal. Our first test is to build an app. Build a workout stopwatch and timer. That's it. I'm giving it a simple sentence and let's do the same for Lovable to compare and see what happens. First impressions for Opal, it looks ugly. The UI is terrible for app building and also manually typing in numbers just seems lacking and overall doesn't look too good. Lovable with the same exact prompt and it's produced a working app that while basic shows nice results I guess. It's got both the stopwatch and timer, has built in options. So not great, but a good start. Now for the real test, an app that fetches the latest AI updates for the current week. Information should be summarized and concise. It should get valuable AI info instead of random buzz generated by media. Now let's see how they both do. With Opal, we have a basic UI generated. It's essentially a page. Let's go to the app version. So we go to the app and we see a page with some basic updates that look okay. Not, not too excited. And honestly, it's not just, it looks pretty basic. Not bad, I guess, but not something overwhelmingly nice either. Now, Lovable, on the other hand, it's the exact same prompt, nothing different. AI Weekly got nice animations. We got updates this week, breakthroughs, categories. You got a filters option right here. Refresh the page. It provides the dates as well. High priority updates. We have, oh, I love this hover effect too. This is pretty cool. I think just generally dark themes to me are more appealing. So that could be a bit of a bias on my part. But the, the updates themselves also look more substantive. So OpenAI raises 8.3 billion. Anthropic cuts off OpenAI's access to clawed models. So yeah, overall, this is great. The one thing I did do, though, was adjust the dates. When it first created it, I think there was a problem with the dates. So I gave it a second prompt just to fix the dates, and it did that right away. I'd give Opal a 3.5 out of 10. Google's been doing great lately. I mean, VO3 is stunning. I haven't seen anything come close to it. The new models aren't bad either, but this is just so ugly. It's probably the worst UI I've seen in a while. It looks clunky, quickly thrown together, and to be honest, almost seems like a marketing ploy rather than something really useful. Does it have potential? Absolutely. Is it good? Not even close. Uh, my man, did you forget what I can do? Don't forget to like and subscribe and hey, have a good one.